I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and today we're going to talk about serotonin physiology. Do you suffer from a loss of enjoyment in life? Do you no longer love the things you used to do? Do you no longer love yourself? Are you depressed often? Do you suffer from insomnia and have sleep troubles? Well, then you may have a problem with serotonin or a serotonin deficiency, and serotonin is needed to make melatonin, and melatonin allows you to have correct restful sleep. So if you are someone that suffers with insomnia and or depression, this is an important video for you. Now, if you've seen my other video on dopamine and the catecholamines, norepinephrine and epinephrine, you remember that there, is, there are catecholamines peripherally in the body and then centrally in the central nervous system. Well, that's also true for serotonin. There is serotonin that functions in the brain for mood and love and enjoyment and sleep, and there's serotonin that functions in the periphery for gastrointestinal function, for moving through, through food through your intestines and many other things. Now, just like the catecholamines, serotonin made in the periphery or in the body cannot cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain by itself. It needs help. And if you are unhealthy in the mechanisms that it requires to enter the brain, then you're going to have a brain deficiency in serotonin and therefore melatonin. So you will have depressive type symptoms and sleep troubles. So let's talk about how this happens. Now, the fundamental precursor for serotonin and melatonin creation is the amino acid tryptophan. So everyone knows about tryptophan, right? We all go over to a, our family's house for Thanksgiving and we eat a big hunk of turkey which is loaded with tryptophan and then we all want to fall asleep and take a nap after. Why? Because we load it up on tryptophan, it goes down the pathway I'm about to show you and leads to melatonin and we just want to we get sleepy. So tryptophan is where we start. We must have tryptophan from the diet or from supplementation in order to make serotonin and melatonin. Now tryptophan from the diet is going to be converted to 5-HTP. Now 5-HTP, if you're someone that doesn't sleep well and you, you've, or you're depressed, then you may have heard that you should supplement with 5-HTP or you should supplement with melatonin. Um, this is the pathway that leads to those end products, so you may have heard of 5-HTP. In order for tryptophan to be converted to 5-HTP, you must have iron. Iron is a necessary cofactor for that enzymatic reaction to occur. Now, what if you're anemic? If you're anemic and you lack iron, then you're not going to have the substrate necessary to produce serotonin and melatonin. Therefore, if you are depressed and not sleeping well, you'll never get better, even no matter how many drugs you take, if anemia is the underlying cause. And I didn't say it in the dopamine video, but the same thing for dopamine and the other catecholamines is iron is a cofactor in those pathways. So if you're anemic, that could be the underlying cause that's making you unhealthy and no drug is ever going to fix that for you. Now, from 5-HTP, 5-HTP becomes serotonin. Okay? Serotonin. Now the cofactors for the conversion of 5-HTP to serotonin are a bunch of B vitamins and magnesium. So we're going to have 5 or uh, P5P, we're going to have niacin, you're going to need vitamin B12, you're going to need folate, and you're going to need magnesium. So if you have a methylation issue and you do, or a vitamin B deficiency, due to stomach problems, or you have a magnesium deficiency, you are not going to produce serotonin. So you will, you, this long term could lead to a deficiency in serotonin and depression. And from serotonin, serotonin once it hits the brain, um, is converted to melatonin which builds up in the pineal gland and controls when you sleep. And your sleep is influenced by having enough melatonin and then having it get dark and some other factors. So serotonin becomes melatonin 
with two cofactors. One is norepinephrine and the other is more methyl donors. So more B vitamins as we said here. Okay, so what did you catch there? In order to create melatonin from serotonin we need norepinephrine which is a catecholamine and in my previous video on dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine I talked about the pathways and how you create norepinephrine and the cofactors involved with that and dopamine synthesis are going to be iron, things like iron, vitamin C, oxygen, folate, copper. So if you're deficient in any of those, you're going to have a problem here. And the deficiency in iron, so anemia will impact that, um, you require insulin to get serotonin and dopamine both into the brain. So if you have blood sugar issues, insulin issues, you're not going to create serotonin and melatonin the way you need to. So what I didn't put on here is, is to get tryptophan to 5-TP, 5-TP to serotonin. To get tryptophan into the brain, you need to have proper insulin response and carrier molecules to get it to cross the blood-brain barrier and enter the brain and be converted to 5-HTP, serotonin, melatonin downstream. So if you're on an SSRI drug and you no longer want to be on meds for your depression or you can't sleep and none of the ambience or other meds are working or even if they are working and you just want a natural way to deal with it then you need to find a functional medicine doctor like myself and be assessed for deficiencies and cofactors for insulin or blood sugar issues, for anemia, for multiple different problems. I am here to help you with that. To find out more information, check out my podcast on iTunes called Accelerate Health with Dr. John Bartimus. Check out my website, functionalmedicinecharlotte.com, and continue reading and watching my videos. Have a great day.